The Enforcement Directorate on Thursday summoned former Kerala Higher Education Minister and left Democratic Front MLA KT Jalil to record a statement in a money laundering case in connection with the Indian Union Muslim League's MLA and its National General Secretary PK Kunyalikutti and IUML mouthpiece Chandrika. The ED has also summoned Kunyalikutti for Friday and his son PK Ashik for September 7. The case pertains to money laundering to the tune of rupees 10 crore using the party's mouthpiece Chandrika. ED has issued a notice to me in connection with the money laundering case against Kunyalikutti which i had been raising for a few days inside and outside of the assembly i have given my statement regarding this i will give them some more documents related to this soon jalil said while addressing the media ed has also asked for information about the financial sources of some people those things are being given he added further the leader said under the guise of chandrika the mouthpiece of the muslim league and the league's institutions some people have been involved in money laundering Chandrika has bought 4 acres of land worth rupees 4.5 crore in Kolkata earlier. It is set to build the office of the Muslim League. 2 acres of it were bought in the name of the son of a prominent leader. Kunyalikutti is probably behind all this. He is managing all these things. Jalil reached the ED office at 10:45 a.m. and left at 4 p.m. The recording of the statement lasted around 5 hours. In April, the leader had resigned from his position after the Kerala High Court refused to stay the Loga Yukta verdict that charged him with nepotism, abuse of power and favoritism in giving government appointment to his second cousin by altering norms. The Loga Yukta verdict had come on a complaint filed by a Muslim Youth League leader in November 2018 alleging that Jalil's cousin Adib was appointed general manager in the Kerala State Minorities Development Finance Corporation flouting rules. News desk Kaumudi Global